Welcome back. Now in this lesson, we're going to cover some key notes within ChatGPT. First, it's good to know there's safeguards in place to protect from possible malicious user prompts. The output may generate incorrect or misleading information. Now another key mention, conversations may be reviewed by AI trainers in order to improve the system. Really, this is just intended to be mindful of the type of prompts that are entered into ChatGPT and be cautious to share sensitive information. Finally, is feedback. As you explore and utilize the system, it's always helpful to provide feedback to help OpenAI improve on ChatGPT features. There's also an open Discord community that you can join to actively participate in conversations around ChatGPT. Now, we are at the ChatGPT landing page. Let's explore some key features. On the left, we have the navigation pane. In the main area, there are examples, key capabilities, and limitation information. Focusing on key capabilities, you see that ChatGPT remembers what you said in previous conversations. This really just means the current conversation that you're in. If you open up a new conversation thread, this will not be remembered, only the one that you're currently in. There is also the ability to provide follow-up or corrections. Basically, if you don't like the response provided by ChatGPT, you can request for ChatGPT to regenerate a response. Also, the model is trained to decline inappropriate requests. Thus, typically if you ask for malicious information, ChatGPT will not provide a response. There's always that oddball situation that can occur, but those should be limited at best. On the limitations of ChatGPT, a key call out of ChatGPT may on occasion generate incorrect information. Recall the model strain on data up to 2021, so information may not be current. The other call out is ChatGPT is not always good at performing mathematics. The next call out is on occasion there may be harmful instructions or biased. ChatGPT will learn based on input history and sometimes the output may have some weighted bias based on previous threads. Finally, as mentioned, the model is limited to the amount of data it's trained on, which is 2021. On the bottom is the user prompt field. This is where you enter information and have ChatGPT answer a question or create an output based on a prompt. In the next lesson, we're gonna cover ChatGPT user prompts. I look forward to seeing you soon.